One of the easiest ways to make your wedding film stand out is by capturing the couple in a beautiful, cinematic, and emotive way. And this can be done during the portrait session on the wedding day. And oftentimes, this really is the deciding factor between whether or not this wedding film is going to be a portfolio piece or just another average wedding. So for today's video, I wanna offer 10 wedding poses that can help you elevate your films and that your couples are going to love. This first pose is a simple and gentle approach to kickstart the portrait session in an intimate way. Have your couple stand shoulder to shoulder and prompt your bride to rest her head on the groom's shoulder while the groom looks off in the distance. One way to add variety to this pose is by having your bride close her eyes and as you push in with your camera or push away, have her open her eyes. This is a beautiful way to show connection, show your character, and create a boldness within your film. One of my favorite techniques to use on the wedding day is defocused foreground. I think this is a great way to really elevate your compositions. It looks a lot more cinematic. It adds a lot more depth and nuance to your image and add more variety to this pose in particular. Pose number two is practice your first dance. Some couples just aren't sold on the idea of being front and center with the camera, and it takes some practice and affirmations to really help them feel comfortable. This shot is perfect to give your couple the chance to unwind, talk to each other, all while we capture some real personality. So for this pose, I'll usually just have my couple face each other and tell them to just practice their first dance together. And I've been able to capture some really beautiful compositions from this, some really great personality, and it's even an awesome transition to use in your edit later on. Going from them practicing their first dance outside and weaving that into their first dance during the reception. Pose number three is the slow shutter. I've talked about this in my previous video, all about the five trends for wedding videography. So if you didn't catch that last video, you can find it here. But this has just become such an awesome shot to incorporate on the wedding day. Instead of just highlighting your bride and your groom, you get to incorporate the bridal party for this shot by having them staggered, walking quickly past the bride and groom, as the bride and groom rest their heads into each other. The key to this shot is you want your couple to be as still as possible since you are recording in a slow shutter so that you can retain that focus and create the effect that time is standing still. Pose number four is the bear hug. The bear hug pose is a versatile shot that can really do wonders for your film. Having your couple or even members of the bridal party embrace each other from behind emphasizes closeness intimacy and a strong sense of connection. The variety and emotion that you can pull from this shot always highlights the couple's personality and other members of the day in such a beautiful way. Another variation of this pose is to have the groom behind the bride essentially spooning her, using playful hands, resting into each other, because through this one setup, you can build a beautiful scene with a ton of emotion. Just make sure you don't have the groom wrap his hands around the bride's stomach, because then this photo turns into a maternity session. When it comes to your office space, having a creative solution that allows you to sit or stand just makes a ton of sense. Because take it from me, you know, editing eight, nine, even 10 hours in a day, is just too much strain for your back. And I definitely found that out the hard way around a year ago when I started having a lot of back pain, a lot of issues with sitting for long periods of time. And so I needed a solution. Let's face it, there's a lot of options out there when it comes to which desk you should consider. And there's a lot that are just really expensive. FlexiSpot is just kind of the best of both worlds with affordable options, but also really high quality options. I mean, I weigh like 180 pounds and this desk can support up to like almost 400, which is pretty awesome. So you could put like two of me on here. Hey, babe. Scared. We are really testing the motor on this one. In all seriousness, FlexiSpot was kind enough to send me this desk to test out. No money exchanged hands, and this is my honest, transparent opinion about standing desks in general, and FlexiSpot just has a very wide variety of products that are high quality, but also affordable. So if you're considering adding something like this to your office space for the next wedding season, definitely check out FlexiSpot and all of their options. I think you'll be really happy with some of the products that they offer. But 
now that that's out of the way, let's get back to the video. Hey, do you want Chipotle? Bye. We're getting Chipotle. Pose number five is cuddling. For this pose, it's just as simple as telling your couple to face each other, get real close and cuddly, and share a quiet moment with each other. You can have the groom grab the bride's face, push her hair behind her ear, have the bride rest her head on his chest, rubbing his arm. Introducing more physical touch with this pose can emphasize the intimacy and closeness of this moment. And with this shot as well, it can give you a ton of variety for your film. A good rule of thumb is to collaborate with a photographer and Ask them if they can incorporate more movement when they set them up so that you don't feel that you're just capturing mannequins, that you just have this sense of realism within your frame, and it's ultimately gonna look better for their shots as well if the couple are moving and it's just very natural and organic instead of just being very stiff. Because a couple in motion always warrants a more authentic image and it's gonna make your couple feel a lot more comfortable as well. Pose number six is walking towards the camera. Keeping in line with simplicity with this one, it's just as simple as having your couple hand in hand and walking towards the camera while they look at each other, they could talk to each other, they could just be silly, whatever fits their personality best. And you can get creative with this one and at the end you can tell them to pull in to each other, go for a kiss, dance, sway, whatever that looks like. You can just get really creative with this shot so that you can get variety within your scene. Pose number seven is the side-by-side. -side. One of my personal favorite poses to use at every wedding involves the couple standing side-by-side, -side, holding hands, or even staggered away from each other. And having the couple look in opposite directions, towards the lens, or even towards each other. This is also known as the hipster pose. And there's a ton of variety in ways that you can infuse this shot, having the couple stand side by side, facing you, even faced away from you, having defocused foreground and focused in on the background. I love infusing these creative shots in my stories to create intrigue, and that sense of connection. Lean into the scenery and differentiate your frame by using negative space, the rule of thirds, to really create an interesting shot. Another staple pose to consider during the portrait session, and one that is similar to number five, is the forehead to forehead. Tell your couple to rest foreheads together, eyes closed, and just reflect on their ceremony. Reflect on each other and the moment. And while they are sharing this moment, you wanna capture a wide shot, a medium shot, and a few close-ups of this one pose. That way, even if you don't get a ton of portraits on the wedding day, you have this one scene that is just very beautiful, very intimate, and it can be used in social media, it can be used to really kickstart your film in a beautiful way, and it's just a great way to kickstart the session overall. Pose number nine is lead the bride. One of my other personal favorite shots to infuse at every wedding involves the groom leading his bride. This shot highlights strength and trust and connection and really caters to that sense of adventure, which is the theme for most of my wedding films since my brand is very uh, adventure focused and caters to that journey of their relationship and my couple's relationship. And when you infuse some emotive music, narrative pieces from the day, you start to paint a picture of your couple's story in an intentional and powerful way. And pose number 10 is the tunnel. This pose is perfect for couples and bridal parties that are uh, generally a lot more energetic and fun and upbeat. Have your bridal party form two lines with their hands in the air, bouquets up, and as the couple walks down, have the bridal party cheer them on, hype them up. It's always a great shot to invoke a lot of energy and joy from the day. It gets the couple excited, it gets everyone hyped up and ready for the party later on. When it comes to just capturing photos of people, it doesn't have to be so stiff and so boring. It should really just be a fun experience for everyone. So the more that we can infuse shots like these that just highlight personality and have a ton of energy, it's just gonna make for a better overall experience for everyone is gonna loosen you up, it's gonna loosen the couple up, and they're gonna be a lot more receptive to capturing those intimate shots later on as well. So that has been my 10 poses that you should consider for your next wedding. Let me know in the comments if you use any of these, if you use something different, what are your favorite shots and prompts to use on the wedding day? I would love to hear from you, and until next time, keep creating and telling beautiful stories.
Peace. I know this could be, this could be love.